everybody, Ginger Shadow here, and welcome back to some more Chamber of Iris with me, and on the make some of my own today, because Enn was a scrub, and when I asked him if he wanted to record, he replied, no, that's scrub. Now he went off and written and recorded Pixelmon, because he was busy the night before, and I were to record it, and he needed it, but then I decided I need Iris, so here I am. Um, and then I, I don't know about everyone else, everyone else just does stuff. I don't know, the server hasn't really been pushing forward lately, which has been... Well, kind of sad in a sense. At the same time, I can't really blame anything because, like, everyone's off doing stuff, so nothing really gets done. Which means I really should play my active role in just doing stuff in general, shouldn't I? Rather than just powering myself up endlessly because at the end of the day, I can already kill everyone on the server if I wanted to at the same time, so... <laughs> yeah, now Maybe I can take a break from powering myself up. Well, I say I can take a break. Realistically, I don't want to take a break. Realistically, I just don't have enough ender pearls to power myself up anymore. <laughs> They're my limiting factor because here's a nice little thing, okay? So you know how I went and made the death room? Because, um, you know, in Chamber of Iris, this nice little community group, beautiful, nice server. I decided to make a room that's meant to be filled with death. And what, what, what do you know? Nothing spawns. I've been here for a while. And it used to work. Like, all this stuff used to work. I was in the nether for ages and I was grinding. It was my best source of grinding and getting tons of experience on my armor and levels and stuff. And then it just doesn't work. This room should be filled with creepy crawlies, but there's nothing here. So I reckon it's because the server hasn't been restarted in ages. That's likely the reason. Um, if a server doesn't get restarted for ages, its spawn rate tends to die down over time. I reckon that's what happened. I reckon if the server got a nice little restart, this place would be filled with mobs again. But, you know... It's not. I might try and ask for one, see if anyone's in, um, see if anyone will respond and restart it for us. Also, hello, animals, buffaloes. I'm just going to. That's right, guys. It's breeding time. <laughs> just going to create an army of buffaloes for whenever animal decides to get back on. So, yeah, guys, welcome back to the Chamber of Virus, where I basically, in between episodes, not been up to really much. I like finished off just putting dirt down in that room. Haven't really built walls around it yet, though. And all in that, I was just really trying to consider the best way to get Ender Pearls, because I really couldn't think of a way to effectively get Ender in the spawn. Other than finding the end, but you know, you need Ender Pearls to get there, unless I got lucky. And even then, you still need them to get in, so <laughs> that's not going to happen. Um, my other idea was using Lucky Blocks as a chance you'll get some out of that, but that's like a slim chance to get some when it's not really guaranteed. No, that would be just be a massive waste of gold at that point, so... I do have one effective plan, but I'll think about that later. Um, also, I might make this thing called Healing Rays, which basically I can just do this. Just, there you go. That's basically it. That was just so I could get like extra experience on my mana level, because I was at level... I don't know what level I was before. Um, but yeah, this is... Beams are not effective for experience grinding. That much I have learned. I wish I had built a beam wave. Uh, sorry, not a, not a beam wave. A healing wave or something. <laughs> Honestly, dude. Actually, I wonder how good healing would be on a wave. Ooh, there's a question for you. But anyway, I need to finish off the house at some point, but I'll worry about that differently. I'll probably try and finish that off camera, because at this point, I've kind of got a thought process of looking at the house. Oh, this is inconvenient. Hold on. <laughs> right, so the animal went and I don't know what the hell he did. I don't know if he, like, world edited the house or what happened, but he did something to the house, and obviously it broke bits of the top of it off. It broke our beautiful chairs and stuff. But he basically wanted to move all the main stuff that was in here out. And move a bunch of it downstairs to what was meant to be the storage um and things like that then upstairs was supposed to be our bedrooms for the three of us but at this point pat's not on because we all know pat is now known for literally doing one or two episodes of a series then kind of stopping because he prefers i don't know pat just prefers short series that's just how he is he prefers short series he prefers series that doesn't require him to basically put a lot of grinding time into it because he just wants to go record other things because that's just how he rolls. It's really, realistically, I think what it is, is that he wants to save as much time as he can so he can play Overwatch because <laughs> he's almost slightly addicted. It's kind of like Zaro with his um, CSGO. Oh my, Zaro also says that he does skill in real life stuff, but I don't know how much I believe in that. I feel like he's just on CSGO all the time. I just don't know it. Um, but anyway, so what I was thinking is I'll renovate the place. Tear that stuff down, finish the back wall, tear that bit down, and literally just convert this entire room into my play space. And by that I mean I'm going to move my, my, um, my Ars Magica stuff up here. And I'll build all the other stuff I plan to build up here. Then we can have a bedroom up here. It'll just be a shared bedroom, a big massive shared bedroom that will just have all our things, things in. And my research stuff. I feel, like, I feel like that's probably the best method. Then I'm just going to move like chests full of stuff that I need up here because there's no point all being down there. That could be the mass storage area, but honestly. Although I did... I did make tons of um, potions of harming, so that bit's set. I just need I just need Ender Pearls now. I can do all the most powerful spells in the world, happily. 
Uh, oh, that, I, I still have limited magic, but you know. Oh, yeah, I finished getting tons of nether wart. Because, oh yeah, no, I did make another spell, didn't I? Made another one. I don't know where I did this on camera. I don't think I did. Um, yeah, Shroud the World. 31,000 experience. <laughs> no, that was not experience. 31,000 energy cost. That right there would be the, um, the make it night time one. Because I wanted it to constantly be night time so I can constantly just keep killing things. But... I am nowhere near getting 31,000 ex um, experience, so, or sorry, 31,000 mana, so, yeah, I, that's going to be well. But anyway, um, there's one thing I do want to do, so I want to go fight the, the Fire Garden today. That much, I've, I've been saying I want to fight him for a while, and I plan to. So before I do that, though, I thought it might be a wise idea to maybe, you know, stock up on a few certain potions, because we're going against the Fire Guardian in the Nether. So, yeah, Fire Resistance potions would be a very good idea in here. Also, how do you power up potions again? It's redstone, isn't it? Pretty certain it is. Let's go grab some redstone. Yeah, no, potion... Glowstone gives up the level. And redstone powers up the time. That's how it works. Alright, I've not done potions in ages. <laughs> but all the potions are harming. Making them lately. I'm actually... No, I think I have a potion of fire resistance just floating around. Maybe just one or two would be handy. Oh, there we go. Fire resistance. Oh, but it's only three minutes. Uh, oh, never mind then. Alright, hold on. Grab red stone. Because with that, I don't know... I don't know how much damage the fire guardian can do. I'm not too worried, to be honest. I feel like I could probably take him at this point. I'm going to hope I can take him. Wait, fuck crap. That is the right thing for fire resistance, right? Yeah, blaze powder gives strength. And that, yeah, the... The magma cream gives fire resistance. I'm almost certain that's what it is. I'll see, yeah, healing rays, you're not needed. You're... That's literally just a companion heal... At that point, like, if I'm attacking a dummy, heal it. Because that, that golem is just a nice target. It's just a nice target. But because there's no damage to decrease, I can't actually see how bloody strong my attacks are. I'd love to know how strong this is. I know ice cannons are around 20-something damage. That's about it. That's, that's all I know. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's whatever. This will be my weapon against the Fire Guardian. I do not know how much health he's got. I don't know how good he is. I just know he does Firestorm a lot and he heals himself in fire. So, yeah, we'll be setting the arena up in our favor. That's for sure. Before we fight him, then I'll go on to the other thing I want to try and do today. But no, I, I if, if we're going to take the fire guardian, this is the best good as we're going to get. I mean, oh, actually, it's not. Because I could put fire resistance extras on, like, my leggings and stuff. But that requires... It's level 2, isn't it? It's it level 2 or 3. Put that in there. Yeah, it's level 3. So, like, you need, like, three, 4,000 experience on your leggings. That's after you get the first two levels. And then it's always fire, so it's not really worth it at that point. But now, I've got magic resistance in general, so we'll just, we'll just hope that works. <laughs> but, yeah, no, I need to fight this guy. He's, like, one of the few guardians I've not killed yet. Plus, if I can get his cool little horny things, that'll be good. Those look pretty, and they give fire resistance. No. No, 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 no. Where is a good spot to fit a fire guardian? Because one thing I need to make sure is he doesn't decide to throw himself over an edge. Because that would be really, really annoying. <laughs> Alright, silky digging. Boop. There we go. And then get everything in the back pack. Yes, I do. So we take obsidian. We take a block of coal. We take a gold inlay. Then we stop everything that we're doing. We take more silky digging. We break all the area around the fire guardian. Because <laughs> that's just the smart thing to do. Um, oh, crap. No! <laughs> Alright, break it by hand. Fine. Right, break that down. Just fill over here. There we go. Right! And now, we take out the create water spell. <laughs> I think everyone can see where I'm going with this. And yes, we create water all around where we're going to summon the fire guardian. Because to me, that just seems like a good idea, I'm going to be honest. There you go. Give him a nice bath when he gets out. He won't appreciate it, but you know, whatever. I don't care about him anyway. Right, now, no, 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 we drink the fire resistance potion. And we get ready to go to war, because this guy can be quite tough. Also, you don't like it when I bring water into your domain. <laughs> oh, you must be bloody living. Oi! Oh, for God's sake, hold on. Where is that lightning charm? Off. Down. And then we'll just throw. There he is! 
Hey there. That's right, go, go and jump in the water, you mad sausage. What the hell? Man, I'm fire immune right now. What's he doing? Hello? What? How do you fight this guy? More specifically, how do you fight him when he's constantly jipping into the... Guardian! Um... I apparently have angered... I, I've not actually summoned the fire guardian. What I've done is summon a fire dolphin. That decides he just wants to jump in and out of the water and... Oh, there he is! Mate, could you just... D -d -d come on over here. Come on over, come on. He never used to do this. Before the update, he never used to do this. Alright, so he's sticking near his fire. You're gonna hop out as soon as I, like, break your fire down. I don't know how this guy works. I really do not understand him. Alright, I broke your fire. You're still jumping under the ground. Wow, good job. How do I hurt you? Oh, there we go. You're gonna shoot fire at me now. Okay. Okay, well, you, you can do that. I'm just gonna stand a little bit back from you, and I'm just gonna keep shooting ice bombs at you. Well, I did just waste a lot of my magic spamming that there. There we go. Alright, so he is... He can definitely get hurt. Oh my god, are you actually gonna get stuck in... Actually, go in the water. Go in the water, right? Go in the water. And just constantly stay in the water. And out... Oh, for God's sake! Die! There you go, my electric charm's on as well. Give me that gas tier. That's actually really useful to me. Right, no, 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 no. No, 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 Guardian, come back here. Come back here. Come back here. Don't start dipping in and out of the ground, you stupid... Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> he's all want to fight, you just have to ask. I'll fight you all. Also, I'd be really, really smart to use my will of... Hence a fire resistant. I don't know why that died there. Generally don't. Um, oh, he's healing himself. Uh, uh, well, that's just annoying. Yeah, he heals in fire. He heals in fire. Okay, that's just annoying. Yeah, whenever he does his fire dance on my belly. Using Silent Heaven would actually be really effective. Why did I not think of that? I was planning to do that for Ender, the Ender Guardian. Honestly speak, actually, if I just stand here. You're, you're, you're just going to stand there and keep shooting stuff at me, right? You are as well. Okay. And when that stops working for you, which it has, because, you know, I don't take fire damage thanks to fire resistance. Is the fire guard really this simple? I thought he had some damaging moves that weren't related to his fire. Does he really not? Does he really only have that? I feel like I could go up and give him a hug right now. I feel sorry for the guy. But unfortunately, I want his ears, so... No, there will be no hugs. But you are going to try and heal yourself. But yeah, there you go. All right, no, 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 no. Follow me, follow me, follow me. Oh, for God's sake! You're just annoying, you know that? Like... I hate you with a burning passion. I hate you with a burning, painful passion. Because all you've done is make my life annoying. Actually, hold the bus. I still thought. All right, so obviously we can um, we can't use Star Trek in here. Oh no, Star Trek doesn't do anything. He's a guardian. I was gonna say I could put him up in the roof of the place. Also, oh, do you want to follow me around? Because I, I feel like having you stand still is a terrible idea. Because you're just gonna summon your stupid fire. Actually, could I take him to the overworld? Fire Guardian, follow me! <laughs> I've got a plan for you! <laughs> and the plan is, make it rain. Make it rain, oh so beautifully much. Alright, no, no, follow me, mate, follow me, come on. Over here. Just a little bit more, come on. Alright, I'm gonna keep shooting you the entire time as well. Alright. Now follow, go through the whizzy portal. Now don't use Firestorm. Oh, it worked! Oh well, might as well fight him. <laughs> That's an odd thing. Oh yeah, Richie says he moved the Ender Guardian to the Nether. And again, I also told Richie I will move the Fire Guardian. Alright mate, you're on the wrong side of the barrier. No, he's doing the dippy thing again. Oh, don't do the dippy thing. Don't do the annoying dippy thing. Hold on, where's... Hold on, let's just, let's just... 
All right, enough of the, enough of the crap here. You're gonna you're gonna play in the rain. Playing in the rain. You're gonna stop this jumping around nonsense. Damn you! Come on, I got you there. Come on, where are you? If I hit him once, they'll stop. There he is. Now, are you gonna lose power in the rain? I feel like you should. Generally, I feel like you should. Also, hold on. Now, where's my or will of Kronos? Mate, just stop for a second. I'm busy. In our two minutes of fire resistance, then I need to start actually being careful. Alright. Alright. Now, who's house to Allegiant? Actually, I can take fire... This is a beautiful thing. I can take fire guardians out of the nether <laughs> and put them wherever I want. Okay. Okay, I can work with that. That's a plan for later. Did you just hurt me there? No, 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 no. All right, no, my hearts are just raging. Yeah, you lose all your gold hearts now if you go through the nether pole. They disappear. Are you trying to use your firestorm? Because I don't know how well that works, mate, in the rain. But if you do use it, it's really annoying because you're just going to be getting all your health. <laughs> you're going to get all his health. That's obviously keep it raining. Just keep it raining. Just There we go. That's right. You just keep dying now, mate. Unfortunately, you're not really going to help me get any strong... Oh... I didn't use well of Kronos first, did I? Oh, he's broken all my armor! No! 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 <laughs> helmet off, helmet off, helmet off. Um! Oh, no. I was wondering why my mana regen was going so slow. Oh, that is sad, that is. Oh, he's regened on itself. I forgot this guy. Even though he can't hurt me, he still does damage my armor. Okay, then. Well, I've got some very harsh feelings towards this guy right now. Very harsh feelings indeed. Die, you son of a bitch! Oh, that does a nice healthy chunk of... And he does a fire dance. Oh, he does the fire bloody dance. Well, you know what? You want to make it rain fire? His regen rate is insane. See, this is a guardian section really complex. It's, sometimes it's advice of vulnerable people when fighting him. Also, I potentially should just use Willow Cross because at this point, I'm going to need it. And he's just doing the fire dance again. Why are you just using that over and over? You spamming son of a biatch. Come over here. Come over here. Come on. What are you stuck on? Oh, he's stuck on the freaking... He's getting stuck on the stone paths. <laughs> Mobs have a really hard time navigating over those things. Alright, yeah. Come on over here. Straight. Keep walking. No, don't go and hug the fit. No, don't use that again. Oh, this guy. Oh, now he's doing the dolphin jumps again. You know what? Hold on. No, Scorpion, just don't. Um, mate, I need you to move because we're going to be moving someone else in that little barrier bit. Hold on. Um, can we just... This marking? This is marking. Okay. Um, mark that spot there. Then we've got force shift. We'll force shift you over there. There we go. All right, now... Oh! Oh, um, well, the Kronos kicked in. All right. Four shifts on. Now we shove the fire guardian. No, don't be up the... Don't be up the golem. I could heal the golem. All right, you get in there. No! Damn it! Ah! I was going to heal him. It probably could have worked as well. Oh, he's doing the fire dance again. Well... Mate, if I was to fill your tub that you're sitting in with water, how would that make you feel? Just just wondering, how would it feel if I was to fill this bit with water? Well, you're not very liking that much, are you? No, you're not. He doesn't seem to care very much, to be honest. Ah! I've, I've lost a lot of days work with that armor. That armor was really important to me. I've lost it. What a pain. And you're not dying because of the freaking... Yeah, as long as he keeps spamming that fire thing. I can't kill him. 
So there must be a way to hire there must be a higher damaging thing. There must be a much higher damaging thing than like the stuff I've got. Like obviously I could put more damage on Star Strike, but he's a guardian. That's see, he's just spamming this. It's definitely start spamming this, you can't beat him. I've had problems with him in the past, him doing that. I have no idea how you beat him when he does that. Like I know some people were able to beat him, like in Naruto Season 1, because they fought him and he didn't do that. But like in all my experiences with him, he tends to always spam that, so. You know what? He can just live there for now. I've not got an answer to that guarding. Ah, <laughs> oh, my helmet. No, not my helmet. My everything. Not just my helmet. My bloody everything is broken. Oh, that's not good. Get no answer. I don't know what to do. Ah, <laughs> oh, sudden. Yeah, I really don't know what to do. Actually, I I've, I've just wasted all my armor. I need to remake it all. All right? No, 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 no. Okay, hold on. We've got these in here. So we've got these. So that's always good. But these aren't the good ones. And they don't have mana regeneration. So I don't actually get any boosts off them. I was so close to having... Ugh. That was nearly level 4 stuff. I was so close. I've got so much experience on it. So much experience. How are you? What? How did you get out of the thing? He's on, he's in the roof. Hold on. Yes, he's doing the firestorm dance. All right, we need to get rid of him. And honestly speaking, the best way I have to get rid of this guy is the same way I get rid of most of my problems, and that's to send it somewhere that I don't care to really bother with it. So in this case, well, the spawn's closer than Nella Village, so. Where's the book room? <laughs> Alright, so this is where we get all the books. Poor shift. Return shift. Where are you, mate? Hello? Hi there. Get out here. No. 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 Oh, you son of a... Did I get him? May have got him. Hold on. Buddy shift. Oh no, I didn't get him. Where the bloody hell did he just... Well, there's fire inside the house. Um, <laughs> They dip under the grid. This is the most annoying guardian I've ever faced. He's bugged out as well. Like, um, He shouldn't be casting that nearly as much. For one thing. We also shouldn't... I don't think he should be disappearing on the ground nearly as much either. That or maybe the last time I fought me just didn't do half this crap. I don't know. Or at least not this much. I, I feel like he's vanished at this point. So I'm just going to say it's not my problem for now. And we're just going to leave it at that. So I can now grow grave about my armor. Because I just lost such good armor. <laughs> ah. Oh, that's just annoying. That's just a terrible way to lose your armor. That's the worst guardian. The worst. Even the ender guardian is not as bad as that. Put so much time into building that up. Ah, uh, whatever. All right. Oh, what we know now is that we definitely need stronger spells and possibly more creative spells for dealing with this guy because he's not going to go down to my ice bomb. Like, or ice cannon, sorry. That's just not going to happen. He's just too strong for that. So, yeah. We're going to need more stuff. So, at the end of the day, I'm going to need more ender pearls. And I, I didn't really know how to do that because we couldn't get more ender in this point. I need to ask the server to get restarted, maybe possibly get more. But there is these. There's the Enderman Seeds. Okay, you need four Ender Pearls to actually bloody make it, but I can get one more. That shouldn't be too hard. But for that, you need Minico Seeds, which are them. Cool. Um, and then... Where is it? That's Water Seeds. Yeah, with these seeds, you can make a bunch of different seeds. This is, uh, this is um, Magical Crops. So, how do you make this stuff? Yeah, this is all stuff we need to get into then. So, I'm going to try... I'm going to dip into this then, because this seems like... Oh, wait, hold on. Civico Essence. Hold on, hold the bus. Hold the bus. No, I get this Essence. Or did I get Civico Essence? I did get Civico Essence. Hold on. Imperial Essence. And that gives us... their experience. Experience Seeds. The deck of experience for armor, unlikely. Very unlikely. Would be cool, though. Okay. Oh yeah, we've done it then. 
Because I don't know where I got that stuff from. The, the avocado essence, but I didn't get it from somewhere. I forget, what did I kill to get that? I killed something, I'm pretty sure. And I got some. Alright, we need one more ender pearl then. We just need one more ender pearl and... We are, we are good. We can make ender pearl essence stuff. There's no freaking, there's... We don't have another ender pearl though. That's the problem. Alright, we're going to play with something else then. There's a deconstructor outside. I feel like that'll work. Also, we need that. We need that. Oh wait, hold on. Yes. Hold on, don't we get any more loot bags anywhere? I don't get some inside this backpack. Yeah, there we go. Um. All right, so for Ender Essence, we are going to need four Ender Pearls, the Impargo Essence, and Mimico Seeds, which are just seeds with um the essence around it. I have seeds somewhere floating around. Oh yeah, there's some there. Um, so right, so we make, you know what, just screw it, we'll get tons of the stuff, boop, bunch of medical seeds, stuff, right, hold on, open the sacks, yes, a rurik, ooh, oh, those are good, a little, they provide pretty good protection against something, okay, alright, we just got lucky there. We just got quite lucky. All right, hold on. So I can now create, if I'm not wrong, Ender Pearl Seeds. And this is something I'm basically going to play with off camera. And I'm going to try and make a full form of this stuff then. Filled with Ender Pearl Seeds and among, well, among other seeds that we're going to need. Because, yeah, this seems like a far more efficient way of getting materials. Also, wait, everyone's got a way of growing this stuff quicker, right? I feel like he does. All right, how do we make this stuff grow quicker? So, growth. Is there growth? It's a lamp of growth. A growth pulser. Oh. Stone diamond and mimical block. Can I take a guess to say a, a, growth, uh, a growth pulser increases growth rate? Did I be right in saying that? Am I, am I crazy for thinking that? No, I feel like that sounds like a sound logic to me. <laughs> I'm getting to magical crops. Alright. It's meant like, to seem like a strange turn because I've never bothered with magical crops before. I never have. Like... Fairy Tale Origins, I tried a little bit of it, but in this series, I've never bothered. It was going to be Emmo's thing. But Emmo's slow as balls. Like, he's still in the very basic plant. I've gathered so much of this stuff. So, yeah, let's jump up a bit. Let's get some good stuff going. Because I, I kind of need Ender Pearls. And I'm going to be honest, Magical Crop seems like the most efficient way of getting it. So, hold on. If we make some blocks. Let me go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Boop. Growth Pulsar. I'm pretty sure there is a way to instantly grow it, though. Like, there, there is, like, a literal thing to just grow this stuff, right? So if I shove that there, you're going to, like, make that grow quickly, right? All right, we're going to assume it will. <laughs> totally will. Totally will be fine. Right, usage. What else can I make with you? So we can make Incardo Essence. Medical Fertilizer. Boom. It uses diamonds. Mmm. Oh, okay. Well, we have got diamonds, and we're not going to use them for anything else. Honest. Not an envy seed. Um, yeah, we're not going to use it for anything else. I say making some would be fine. Honestly speaking. <laughs> Mainly just because I want some essence. R I want uh, more ender essence right now, so... Yeah, alright, let's do this. Hold on. Blood mail. Boop, 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 boop. But, but, but. So yeah, if this works correctly, I can do this off camera. And basically next time it comes around, I should be able to basically just make a bunch of really advanced spells. Then maybe we can tear down those guardians that are bothering us. Because yeah, we now have a fire guardian that we just don't seem to be able to handle because he just destroyed our armor. I'm going to remake my armor. That's going to that's gonna break me. <laughs> it's going to freaking break my heart having to remake that stuff. Oh, you f Oh, it gets fully done just off one. Oh, that is the best thing. Alright, how much it? Nine Essence gets us at four Ender Pearls. I can go with that. That is, that's a fair deal right there. Plus, we get our Enderman Seeds back. Alright, but is there a way we can get more? Or am I getting one seed per go? Ooh. Alright, so it looks like I will literally need to just work with the one. 
keep growing it, then make another, then go from there. Ah, I think it's multiple seeds. I guess maybe just the the older. Ow! Maybe it's just some of the weaker plants you get. Um, you get all the stuff from. Are you multiple seeds? No, there you go. It's just really rare. I say that as I got it two in a row. Okay, boom. With that, we get 12 ender essence, and with that, we can then make four ender pearls and a bit. All right, all right. Now this, this, this is good. This is good thing. <laughs> this is very good thing. All right, so I'm gonna get ender pearls. So with that, I can then make ender essence. Um, I just need to basically fill that bit of farm, or a good bit of that farm, with ender pearl ones, because I need them, and we're gonna need them for high powered spells. So with that, I've now, I don't really have too many more limitations, really. Now I think about it, like. Yeah, I can pretty much make anything I need to make for a spell. So that's sorted. There are still, like, the Ender Guardian and the Fire Guardian or two Guardians I still can't beat. Not because they can't, they, like, they can't kill me either. But, like, well, the Fire Guardian can destroy my armor. So he, po he possibly could kill me if a Fire Resistance runs out. But like, the Ender Guardian can't kill me when I stick on my Earth armor and my other armor. So, yeah, I feel it's just getting enough damage to kill them before, like, before they do anything else. Because, yeah, the Ender Guardian tends to teleport around and mute you, and then Fire Guardian tends to burn you down to a crisp, destroy your armor, and with that, you are you just you break down and cry, so... Ugh. Two very difficult Guardians. If only I could get nature. <laughs> I miss nature, damn it. He was such a good Guardian. Big, tough, dopey. Could get destroyed very easily. Didn't like fire very much. Oh. Oh, I just had a thought. Fire. Okay. Firestorm doesn't work on Fire Guardian. No. That's true. There's more than one spell that does a storm. So it's not a storm. It's a blizzard. Oh, I need to make a high-powered blizzard spell. I need to make a very high-powered blizzard spell just to deal with that Guardian. Alright, guys. Well, I'm going to end this episode here. So thank you all very much for watching. So it's been a bit of a... I'm very sad. Like, I put a lot of effort into that armor. Like, I see a lot of effort. Like, really, I was grinding other stuff, and the armor was just kind of coming up as a result. But I did put some effort into growing that armor because I wanted, like, the cool effects off it. And then it's gone. <laughs> so I need to make new stuff. I'll need to try and get the spawn rate increased, hopefully. So that's a thing. I'm gonna, I'll just ask if the server can get a restart. Because if it does, I reckon spawn rate will kick back up, and I can kill things again. Because at this point, there's, like, it, stuff spawns at night. Fine. But, like, nothing spawns out of the stuff during the day. It's really weird. I don't, I don't bloody understand it. Also, that's a weird biome. Let's just step away from there. But yeah. So, I've got two Guardians I still want to kill at some point or another. So, I'm just, just going to work on them as time goes, I guess. It's, it's, assuming I can make good enough spells to kill them. Blizzard seems like the way to go on fire. Because if I can entangle them, plus Blizzard, plus a bunch of damages, I feel like we could take them. That and Duration, maybe. I don't know. We need to make some really high-powered magic for him. Um, Ender... Still no clue. We'll figure him out when the time comes. But I need to make my armor and grind it up again. That'll be great fun. <laughs> but whatever. I've still got, I've now got things to do then. So I can increase the Ender Peril Farm. That way I can get all the damage in the world. That's the main resource that we're short on. Like if there's anything else, though, I'll start like making seeds for them and I'll try filling the gardens up a bit. Um, and then after that, I can work on doing some other bits and pieces. And we'll just we'll see where we go from there. Honestly, I don't really need to make myself more powerful. I need to build my armor back up, so I'm still a good defense, but whatever. Um, but other than that, though, I'm starting to think, like, what else should I do in the server? Because, honestly, to me, what I think I really want to do is go for the battle arena route and build the battle arena. Because, you know, it's nice, that one. It's a bit small. I'm thinking we tear it down, and we then clear out a big area. Then we build a giant one, and kind of like the Naruto tuning exams one. Like the one I had in Naruto um, Ultimate Mod Pack. Because that seems like a really cool arena to do a fight in. Plus, we need tons of space because I whip around the place like nobody's business and a bunch of other people are getting into Ars Magica now, so they'll start running around like nobody's business. So, yeah, that's something we'll probably want to um, start doing at some point. Or so I'll probably tear this down, get resources ready, and then try building it with folk at some point, I guess. We'll see where it goes from on from there. Anyway, guys, leave a like if you enjoyed the show, and I'll see you the next time for my Chamber of Iris, where hopefully I'll have new armor and not be quite as sad. So, yeah, I'll see you all then for more of this. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>